down, 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 down. It's a new Blaine show with a new Blaine theme song. Hey, Blaine Smith here. Welcome you to Banger TV for an entirely new show that we're doing. When we've been asking you guys, hey, what do you want out of our shows? You've always said, uh, more bands. And then when we brought you more bands, you said, cool, can we have even more bands? Well, this is the maximum number of bands we can bring you now. This will be the best new metal of every month, according to uh, this guy right here, and a little bit of you through our Patreon polls. So, it's brand new for 2019. Happy New Year, let's get into it. The start of the video though, what I'm always gonna do is I'm gonna just mention some big releases coming out that month that I won't be talking about, but you might wanna mark your calendar for them. No critique on these. These are sometimes great, and sometimes, um, well, you'll know when it comes up. Uh, this month, Soilwork is putting out a new album. That's a big band that you all really love, so make sure you check that out. Malevolent Creation has the Beast. Flotsam and Jetsam have the end of chaos. Papa Roach asks, who do you trust? That was the band I was talking about earlier. And there's a really cool compilation coming out in Canada called Trapped Under Ice Volume 1. It's on a cool ice-colored vinyl, and it comes with stickers for all the bands on there. We know you guys love stickers, so check that out. So up first, we have Swallow the Sun with When a Shadow is Forced in a Light. It comes out on Century Media Records, January 25th. Now this is, of course, Finnish Death Doom of the Catatonia variety, not the Hooded Menace variety. And while my heart lies with Hooded Menace, I do very much enjoy stuff like this. This album cover, I would just like to point out, is a perfect example of how to make a nice album cover and completely bury your band logo while also having your band logo be a good portion of the artwork. If you glance at this record, you will not notice the Swallow of the Sun logo, but then if you look at it, you will, and that is impeccably done, because at some point, great art still needs to advertise a little bit. But let's uh, not talk about this too much, because, I don't know, maybe I'll be talking about this more at a later venue. All right, up next, we've got Toxic Attack, Asino's M Seri, out on Held Prod Records, January 31st. So boy, this record, I've been listening to it and singing it, despite the fact that it is a Portuguese speedy thrash record from a band I know nothing about because they don't seem to allow you to know anything about them. It's almost entirely in Portuguese and I'm still singing along. I'm so excited about this record. It is so, so much fun. The vocals are a great standout for me because they're all in Portuguese except for the occasional thrash metal, old school thrash metal. And it just, everyone I've played it for is like, wow, these people love making metal. And you can really just tell, holy crap, this is a band that loves what they're doing and it really comes through. Now, let's listen to Convictors with Atrocious Perdition on Kern Craft Ritter Records, coming out January 25th. So, this is again a German death band that I don't know anything about because sometimes bands are small and you don't know anything about them. Uh, but I know this is a cool record and I'm gonna say that this album artwork is awesome. The blues and the reds work really well together. The whole album looks like it's being sung by the monster that's on the front. I could really just picture that monster just belching the whole album out of its open maw. And this is a great album cover. The band's previous album cover, I might, if I clicked on it, I might not have followed through to see what it sounded like. So stuff like this makes a difference and great job with this, guys. This looks awesome. Uh, as for the actual music, um, there's a clip to the whole album that I really like. Uh, they do slow down sometimes, but mostly they're motoring along at a really fun pace, and it kind of makes me feel like this is what I wanted out of the Bloodbath album last year that came out and didn't really seem to knock all our socks off. If that kind of left you wanting a bit more, I feel like this record might fulfill that itch. From the wells of distance. <laughs> nice. uh, so, playing right now is Astrophobos with Malice of Antiquity on Triumvirate Records, January 18th. So, these guys have been putting out Swedish black metal since 2009. Sketchiness of the cover is really cool. And, of course, it's Lovecraftian, which is the whole band is themed Lovecraftian, so nom 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 nom. Now, at this point, you might be saying, 
Lovecraftian thing. This is becoming a bit of a bandwagon people are jumping on. But Astrophobos has been Lovecraftian as heck since their first release in 2009. So they're safe. They got in and they've earned it. An interesting thing about this compared to a lot of black metal is you can understand every word he's saying. And even if you couldn't, they tagged the MP3 files with the lyrics. Thank you, it makes my job as a reviewer so much easier. Of the black metal genre this is, this is definitely pump up, get psyched, have some fun. But they did put the last song on the record as a kind of more atmospheric -y slower, just to be like, screw you, we can do that too. But this is what we do the best. And it's a great record. Mucho recommend. And finally, we've got Nightfire with From Fortune of Ruin on this Charming Man Records. So, this is a German hard rock band. Uh, they made a bit of a splash in 2015 with a really well-received EP, and this is kind of their, uh, their first full length. It's kind of, you know, their entrance to the stage. Younger band, and again, all the cover artwork this week, just really awesome, really weird, really different. Look at this, it's so cool, just the blues and blacks, really simple, just, and also it's, it kind of looks like three balls teabagging the earth, and that's pretty cool too. <laughs> Cause it's, it's, you know, it's kind of some, you know, nice uh, balls to the wall, hard rock, and you know, it's a little bit of uh, gari to kind of cleanse the palate after all the extreme heavy stuff. I know we talk about that a lot here, but, Sometimes you need some hard rock to have some fun with, and this record is super, super fun. If you're a fan of uh, Chicago's High Spirits, really similar, except they're German. They have a bit of a German accent when they sing, which I really enjoy. It adds a nice character to the music. Really a lot of fun and, you know, promising young band. So get in now before they blow up. So this has been the best metal of January 2019. This is a new show. We're gonna be doing this every month, so let us know down below. What did you think of it? What should we change? What should we keep? What's good? What's bad? You know, we want to hear it all. And this sponsor for this video is uh, our Patreon supporters. So a bunch of you guys, a bunch of great people come together and give us money to help keep these lights on and putting out stuff like this. So, you know, come join the team, hang out, and I'll see you next month. I've been Blaine Smith, signing off.